Hey, it's JC1424 once again with Gran Turismo 3! In the last episode, we went to Smoky Mountain 2, which is the reverse version of the track that me and my friend Braxton raced at whenever I went to Oklahoma last year. We did a multiplayer rally race at Smoky Mountain. He was using a Subaru Impreza rally car, and I used the Ford Focus rally car. Had a really exciting race with a great finish, just bumping and banging. Uh, it was very dirty. And then we went to the reverse version in the previous episode with a rough RGT which is not a rally car, but I was able to put some dirt tires on it and I just used the standard performance that it had to go up against a Mitsubishi Lancer Evo rally car, which was the prototype, um, the one that was new at the time this game came out. So that car, of course, it handled better because it was a rally car and it had you know proper acceleration and everything. And then my car, well, it had lots of straightaway speed, but I think it was lacking a little bit in acceleration. And if I could slide in the corners right, I could beat the AI and how they're programmed to race the track. So, yeah, we had with some fuck-ups and some misery, but we, we came out strong on that race. So it was a pretty good episode. I like Smoky Mountain. We're going to professional difficulty, like always. Get our 10 laps. We're going to have the worn tires and stuff. We're going to be racing at Super Speedway today. Now, I do believe this is a real track, but the way they designed it in here is kind of fictitious, I believe. Like, there's so many grandstands. There's so many signs advertising everything. The facility looks completely different. Like, these are the buildings here, the, the trees. I don't think all of this is here in reality, because if you look at Gran Turismo 4, 5, 6, the PSP game, and heck, even whenever I um, uh, watch like the footage of Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Dale Earnhardt racing here whenever they were doing that, that awesome tour around the world or whatever, it, it didn't look like this. And then there was the movie Driven. It didn't look like this in the movie Driven. So I swear, this is... that, that they, they fixated the track. But yeah, this is what we're going to in this episode. Class S, all the race cars, and speaking of Dale Earnhardt, we're going to use the Corvette C5R, which is the one that he used in the Rolex 24 in like 1998, 97, 99, one of those years. I don't know that this car came out around that time. Um, this has got a different number on it, but it's basically the same paint job, and heck, you can see the little 24 right there. Rolex 24, baby. Well, let's get into this one. I tried to load this race up here at Super Speedway to have the best possible competition, which is something I do very often. Um, not have some car in there that I clearly can't beat, and then another car that I clearly can't beat. Um, and in this situation, there's one car that I, I don't think we can beat. That would be the, the Toyota GT1, which is already in the lead. Um, we've got a, a Panaz Esperante GTR or whatever the hell that car is called, a silver thing in front of us. That is the most un-American American car in the entire game. I mean, it doesn't even sound like an American car. Panaz Esperante, whatever. <laughs> Panaz Esperante. Uh, I have a hot wheel of that car, except it's like, like turquoise. Really, really old thing. It, it sounds French, and then it doesn't look American either. I mean, considering what kind of car it is, I don't know who am I to judge, but Oh my goodness, I know we're driving this one. He's freaking running into the Camaro. You know, I figure because it's like a GTR1 or whatever, it'd be able to keep up with the Toyota GT1, but no, it's over here sitting, trying to avoid falling into last place. And we got the Dodge Viper, uh, one I started this whole series with. You know, he's pretty much the closest competition that we're going to have as far as performance goes. But um, if that Toyota GT1 decides to take more than one pit stop in this race, which I think they're all going to do, all these other guys, then we have a chance, because I really don't want to take a pit stop. If we get to a point where I can't drive this car at all, then I guess we'll take one. But, I mean, we're, we're at lap three, and the car still seems to be driving just fine. This Dodge Viper, he's going to be my Achilles, so he's going to be knocking me around, all kinds of crap. They like to hit the brakes pretty freaking early. And you can just dive into the bottom, tap the brakes, and then um, come off pretty good. Okay, the right front tire is dead. And the Dodge Viper, he's having a field day with me. Just, like I said, he's just kind of knocking me around. So, uh, yeah, this is the uh, the exact same Corvette that um, Dale Earnhardt was winning that Rolex 24 with. And um, it's a different number, 64. Okay, so the GT1's going on lap 4, so that means he would take his next big top on, like, lap 8. And then the, the Viper is going down the road on, on this lap. Too. So I guess he's taking a spit stop on lap 8 as well. The Camaro, the Esperante. Um, actually, I think every single car went in on the same lap. 
So I'm I, 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 I'm just the only guy that's gonna try to do it one pit stop. Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't turn. Okay. Um, so we'll just take our pit stop at the halfway point then. And um, let's see if we can beat that Toyota GT1 by having only one pit stop. Because it could be possible. The thing is, he's gapping us so much on his own freaking speed that him taking two pit stops and us only taking one might not be enough for me to even win this race. And I know that this track is really not that difficult or, or complex compared to all those road courses that we've done up to this point. But I think this race is going to go by in such a jiffy. But, um... It's just, a, it's just a huge strategy call. And then there's the freaking Toyota GT1. He's already halfway through turns one and two as I'm taking all my time in the world to get off pit road. See, there's so many things that could alter how close this finish comes between me and that guy. I mean, I'm in third place off pit road. I should be running second, but I just... This damn Viper's not getting around. I don't know. That's, the, that's what I was trying to say, is that there are so many things that could prevent me from winning this race, and it could be so freaking close in the end. Just because I took one pit stop, I've got really worn tires in the race, and he's tracking me down the Toyota GT1. But you know, I could have been out further ahead of the guy after my um, after his second pit stop if that damn Dodge Viper would be knocking me around. And now the Dodge Viper is all the way over there. But um, he's taken care of. I mean, I'm gonna gain all this space between me and him um, simply by him taking his next pit stop. It's the freaking Toyota GT1 that I'm concerned about. Oh, I got fresh tires, so this thing is turning very easily, which um, I was not ready for. The Toyota GT1 just started lap 8, so he should be pitting at the end of um, this lap. I'm just trying to remain focused. I don't even know if I'm even gaining on the Dodge Viper. Okay, you see that last car going in? Yeah, there, there you see him on the map. He's taking down pit road. He is 18 point nine seconds in front of me. Uh, I'm pretty sure that a pit stop is like at, at least 20 seconds of lost time. I don't know if that's enough for me to, to still win this race. But he's still you know, at, at pace speed. See on the map whenever he stops. Okay, he stopped. So, I, I think we're gonna come to the front stretch and take the lead from him. Why is the Dodge Viper not pitted yet? Like, he... What? He pit on the end of lap four, and then, so, is he going to wait five laps this time or some shit? <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, so, yeah, we're second place right now. The Toyota GT1, he's going to be exiting pit road. Um, yeah, you can see on the map, he's that one car that's in the middle of turns one and two. There goes Viper down pit road, and we're about to start the last lap of the race. I need to pay attention to the track so I don't miss the corner. I think we've got a good enough distance on that Toyota GT1 to win this race. I can't imagine him gaining an entire quarter of the track in one lap with me. But it's a Toyota GT1, so you never freaking know. Just JC, drive the track like a normal person. Got 6.5 seconds on him. So, yeah, we're good. Like, he's not gaining that much time. Uh, watch this freaking 4 GT4 you try to kill me. He'll just pull up in front of me. You know, they would do that regardless if I'm right there in their way. They would just crash into me, like freaking NASCAR, the game in sideline or some shit. Oh, the tires, the front tires. <laughs> He's coming up on lap traffic got the freaking Camaro getting in his way. Okay, and we win at Super Speedway. Uh, reminder, this is a real track. It's just, um, I don't think it looks anything like this. I don't think it ever looked anything like this. All these signs and advertisements. They look a lot less, uh, a lot more empty in Gran Turismo 4 than at that point on. So, I guess um, we had three cars lap down and three cars in the lead lap. That's a first. Now that I think about it, I probably could have had that race be a lot more exciting or close. Maybe even one that I, I couldn't win if I decided to take my pit stop on like lap eight or lap nine, because then my tires would have been shot for a very extended period of time making my laps like two three seconds slower than you know if they were just uh, fresh tires or, or just like two lap three lap old tires because y'all saw he was like 20 seconds ahead of me he, he took a pit stop and I didn't 
whenever he came off pit road, he was like seven seconds behind me. So that's like 27 seconds. And then he was able to gain like maybe three or four of those back. I don't know. But um, yeah, that was just a, a brief episode knocking Super Speedway out of the way. Um, glad we could finally race this other Corvette. We did the Z06, the second episode of the series at Special Stage Route 5. That was requested by Austin Sizzle. I haven't had anyone request an episode for this series in ages, so if you want to, um, you know, pick a track, pick a car we haven't been to or raced with yet, and uh, that'll be the next episode in a couple weeks. See you next time. That's that, and episode over.